Dad and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vidhi and I like talking about all things beauty. So today I thought I will do a little bit of an anti-haul video. Now this is largely inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers on here that's Sandra of TT Sandra and I will link her channel down below if you haven't come across it yet. Um, basically the idea is that uh, lately there have been so many new beauty launches and a lot of them, a lot of them have truly piqued my interest. But I want to be more mindful of my beauty purchases this year because I've started to realize that um, it can take really, really long uh, to go through beauty products, especially makeup products. And we often tend to buy them faster than we go through them. So I really want to make an effort this year to finish up and to actually enjoy some of the products that I have in my collection before bringing in some new ones. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not a no buy. I still love my beauty products and I will likely be purchasing um, several of them this year, but I just wanna be more mindful and try to enjoy what I have. So the way Sandra usually does it is that she will actually go through her list of beauty products that she's interested in and sort of reason as to why they really don't need to be a part of her beauty collection or even try to pick out um, a few products that are quite similar in her collection. So that's sort of the idea that I'm going to adapt for this video. I'm going to go through the list of products that have really piqued my interest lately and what are the reasons that I'm talking myself out of purchasing them and what are some products in my collection that are actually quite similar and can help fill that void. So with that, let's actually get into some of the products. So first up is foundations. Now, recently Makeup Forever released uh, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Glow Foundation. I mentioned in my ranking all of my foundations video, which by the way, I will link up in the cards, um, that the Makeup Forever HD Foundation has been on my wish list for a long time now. And the release of the Glow Foundation actually reminded me of that. And um, I ended up actually picking out sort of the closest match in terms of my shade and adding it to my cart in the Sephora app and almost, almost clicked out without going to the store and trying it out. So I was going against my own advice of actually trying out a foundation before buying it. But then thankfully some sense prevailed and I didn't go through with that. And I realized that there are actually a number of foundations in my collection right now that might not be an exact match for the Makeup Forever HD, but are actually quite similar and I genuinely do enjoy. So one foundation that's actually very similar or at least sounds very similar to the Makeup Forever HD foundation is the Dior Face and Body Foundation. I mentioned this in my foundations video as one of my absolute favorite event foundations. This is more of a natural matte finish foundation with medium to buildable coverage. And I actually brought this out for the purpose of this video to try it on again and, you know, remind myself of why I enjoy this so much. And one thing that I didn't mention in that video is that I absolutely love this for the soft blurring effect that it has on my skin. Now, because this is sort of in the natural matte category, it just blurs out some of the texture and my skin looks so much more polished than what it is. And that's the reason why I love it so much. I believe the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation also is very, very similar. The only reason that I might actually go out and purchase that is because this uh, foundation is starting to look a little bit, just a little bit too yellow on me. I feel like I need a more neutral undertone lately. So that's the only reason that I would go out and purchase the Makeup Forever HD foundation instead of continuing to use this. But for now, I'm so glad that I decided to do this video because, uh, because of that, I actually pulled out this foundation, tried it on, and it reminded me what a wonderful foundation this is. Another gorgeous product that I have absolutely been lusting after, which actually has not had much advertisement, um, at least on social media so far, 
is um, the Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Skin Enhancers. Now these are almost like your glowy primers that you can apply before a foundation to uh, give your skin a little bit of a glow and the shades look absolutely absolutely stunning they have a nice gorgeous pink shade and then they have some beige tones and they also have a couple um, bronzing shades so the shade range is absolutely stunning and the packaging looks so gorgeous that it's honestly just because of the packaging i think that i want to go out and pick up the product but i know myself um I know that while I absolutely love such um, glowy skin enhancing products, they're just not meant for my skin type. I have oily combination skin, I have texture and more often than not, these products end up um, enhancing the skin texture. So I have to be quite careful in terms of the placement. And really the only place I end up actually using them is on the tops of my cheekbones. And because of that, I go through them excruciatingly slowly so it just doesn't make sense for me to purchase that right now given that i actually have some very very similar products in my collection and one product that's actually very very similar to those is the lisa eldritch seamless skin elevated glow uh, skin enhancer i have this in the shade crystal nebula and I find this to be absolutely stunning. Again, for the purpose of this video, I actually pulled this out to be able to use it and it reminded me of what a lovely, lovely, stunning glow it uh, provides and how much I actually enjoy using it, but also how little of it I use and how long it's going to take me to get through this bottle. So for now, I don't think um, I need another skin enhancer, at least in my collection. Uh, because I already have it but if you have a gap in your collection for that maybe check those out and maybe let me know how they are so I can live vicariously through you. Another product that's actually very similar to this is also the e.l.f. Halo Glows, um, the skin enhancers which are quite popular. Um, the way that differs from the Lisa Eldridge one is that the e.l.f. ones are much thinner in consistency, I find. And also, if you look really, really closely to the Lisa Eldridge ones, they do tend to have some obvious shimmer particles. None of that is obvious on the skin. Um, it's absolutely imperceptible. But if you were to look really, really closely, I think the Lisa Eldridge ones do have a little bit of an obvious glitter. Whereas the e.l.f. ones are completely, completely sheer. Also, I think the e.l.f. ones have a touch, a touch of coverage, whereas the Lisa Eldridge ones have absolutely no coverage. The next product that I'm absolutely, absolutely waiting to get my hands on are uh, the Glossier Cloud Paints in the new bronzer shades that they have released. Now, um, if you watched any of my videos on here, you know that I'm a big fan of the Glossier Cloud Paints. I absolutely love that blush formula and I don't think anything, anything in the market comes anywhere close to that formula. I find them to be long lasting, they're easy to blend, they take the finish off your existing base. Basically, they're the perfect liquid blush for me. And now that Glossier has come out with bronzers in that same formula, I absolutely cannot wait to get my hands on it. But I do still have cream bronzers in my collection that I genuinely enjoy. For starters, I have the Say bronzer, which is in such a large size that I think it's going to take me at least another year to get through this. And I've genuinely been enjoying this uh, quite a bit lately. In addition to this, I also have um, the Milk Makeup Stick Bronzer and the Elf Putty Bronzer. So I have three cream bronzers in my collection, which makes me feel like I actually don't need a third bronzer in my collection right now. I probably will get that one eventually at some point in the future, but not right now. I just want to make my way through at least one of these before I can bring in another new cream bronzer. And also the fact that I've heard only good things about those bronzers makes it a little bit harder for me, but still I'm going to try to hold off um, as long as possible. 
Now coming to blushes, um, some blushes that have really piqued my interest lately are the Basma Beauty Cream Blushes, the Say Beauty uh, Dew Blushes because they, I believe they released a couple of new shades and the Patrick Ta Blush Duos. Now the Say Beauty and the Patrick Ta I largely want because I haven't tried any of those and they have a pretty big fan following um, on social media so they are supposed to be really good and obviously very distinct from one another and that's the reason I do want to try them. The Basma Beauty blushes however I want to try because of one particular shade I saw on there and it's this lovely cool toned pink called Bubblegum. Um, again I will pop that in here and you can take a look. But Honestly, I don't have anything so cool toned pink in my collection and that's the reason why that actually interests me so much. It's possible that I will end up getting that in the future. But as of now, what I did was actually take a deep dive into my makeup collection and see what are the blushes in the pink family that come close. Uh, that I can enjoy a little bit more. So a few that I was able to find are the Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff, Nude Sticks Bohemian Rose and actually a lipstick. It's the old Armani Lip Magnet in 504. I believe this is discontinued but um, the shade was right for me. That's the reason why I pulled it out. So here I have the three swatch. First up is Glossier Cloud Paint which is actually a pretty nice neutral pink. Um, then I have the Nude Sticks Bohemian Rose which is looking a little bit more magenta than it actually is um, and then finally I have the Armani Lip Magnet in 504 which is looking a little bit more orange than what it is. But anyhow the point is that I do have a few different shades of pink in my collection which although not exactly a match for the Basma Beauty bubblegum pink um, that I'm lusting after, I think they should do for now and uh, we'll leave that blush for um, a later occasion when I've actually used up something in my collection. Next up I have lipsticks. Now lipsticks have had this resurgence in terms of a number of new matte lipsticks coming out. I think the one that piqued my interest the most was the Merit Beauty launch of their signature matte lipsticks because the shades they look absolutely stunning and they've gotten pretty rave reviews from some of the uh, influencers that I follow and usually I end up enjoying what they enjoy. So that's the reason that actually piqued my interest. But again, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you probably know that I'm not really a lipstick person at all. I have so many lipsticks in my collection, but I will always reach for a tinted gloss. It just doesn't make sense for me at this point to add in another lipstick to my collection. The reason that the Merit lipsticks um, look so interesting to me is because they seem to be a more comfortable matte. And same thing for another launch um, by Dior. I believe Dior actually expanded their collection of the Rouge uh, collection of lipsticks and even those look absolutely stunning and they look like they are a comfortable matte. But either ways, I don't think I would do justice to either of those lipsticks and for the purpose of this video I actually did go through my collection to pick out um, some of the lipsticks that align most closely with uh, those two launches and I was able to actually find a few of them. So the three lipsticks that actually come close in my collection are first the Maybelline Ultimates. Um, this is the shade more, this is the shade in more blush. Then we have um, the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lipsticks which are actually very very similar or at least they appear very similar uh, to the new launches that um, Merit has. This is the shade in Italian Rose. And then finally I have the Lisa Eldridge uh, Lipstick in Velvet Blush. In appearance actually as I was trying these on I found that the Lisa Eldridge Lipstick comes closest 
to the merit lipsticks um in terms of how it looks and the lisa eldridge lipsticks are quite comfortable to wear i have worn them in the past for weddings and stuff and uh, they've been quite comfortable and they last quite nicely through the night so if you have any of these in your collection you might want to uh, check them out before you um add the merit ones to your cart also case in point that i don't use lipsticks i have the merit original um signature lipstick in slip and i haven't even used it once so i think i think this is a launch that i'm going to skip now another lipstick launch that actually really really intrigued me was uh, the arglas phantom volumizing lip balm now i know that these have been around for quite some time but i believe they released some new shades and i've been seeing them quite a bit on social media and unfortunately these are absolutely right up my alley this is a tinted lip balm uh, they have an amazing glossy comfortable finish and i would absolutely love to try them out but having said that i also still have a number of different uh, products that fit the bill in my collection again to talk myself out of purchasing the arglas uh, lipsticks i actually went through my makeup collection and pulled out a few that are similar so first up i have the bobby brown extra lip tint in bare raspberry and the other one that i find to be quite similar looking is the tower 28 lip gloss in coconut um now the difference between these two and both of these i absolutely absolutely love the difference between these two is that the bobby brown is more like a lip balm it's very very thin in consistency and it swipes on very easily it's really not sticky at all the tower 28 lip uh, lip gloss can be a little bit sticky um but it looks really nice on the lips it looks like a really nice glossy finish so it's much more glossy than the bobby brown one i will say that the arglas phantom lip glosses do look um much better than these two um and i really would love to get my hands on it but i think i'm going to wait it out uh, i'm going to wait a couple months maybe during the sephora sale i'll reconsider if i still have interest in them and at that time i can take a decision now finally i actually have two skincare products that really piqued my interest first up is the origins biphasic makeup remover milky oil cleanser plus makeup remover now this looks like it's sort of a biphasic oil and water type makeup remover but it seems like it functions exactly like an oil cleanser so basically the instructions state that you have to rub it in and it will dissolve your makeup and then you emulsify it to wash it off so i think just uh, the idea of a biphasic oil cleanser really intrigues me and the packaging honestly looks really cute uh, that's the reason why i want to try to get my hands on that but I went through my uh, stash and I found two oil-based cleansers that I have that I've not even opened yet uh, to try. First up is the Deviant Cleansing Concentrate and second is the Elemis uh, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Uh both of these I'm really excited to try but I haven't had the chance to yet because I have another cleansing balm running. So once that's over, I have two backups. available um so that tells me i really don't need another um cleansing balm cleansing oil just yet and when i do if i still am interested in the origins one i'm sure it's still going to be available at sephora another skincare product that got me really interested is the skin fix barrier plus strengthening and moisturizing lipid uh peptide triple lipid peptide it's a really long name but it's an absolutely lovely moisturizer i featured that in one of my empties videos which again i will link up in the cards if you'd like to watch and i really really enjoy that i really really enjoyed that moisturizer it's actually a very thin textured moisturizer but yet it's quite hefty in nature and it's perfect for the winter time It doesn't have quite as much occlusivity to it as I would enjoy so I feel like I do need something uh, maybe like an oil or the La Roche Posay Bombay 5 over the top of it to you know lock everything in but I really enjoyed 
that moisturizer because because I could use it at night as well as during the day if my skin was feeling particularly dry. So now Skin Fix has come out with a new and improved version of it with uh, an added ingredient that's supposed to help um, further in strengthening your barrier. And that's the reason why I really want to give it a go because I enjoyed the original one so much, I think I'll enjoy this one as well. But either ways, I went through my collection and found that I have three moisturizers uh, waiting for me to try them out. The Laneige Sika Sleeping Mask is one. The Build Skincare uh, B Cream is another one. And finally, there is the Regimen Lab Cream, which is the old packaging. So you can tell how long this has been in my collection. So I have three moisturizers again available to me once I run out of my current moisturizer. So I don't think I need one at the moment. Again, in the future, when I do run out of these, I know that this is going to be available at Sephora and I'll probably give it a go then. So with that, this wraps up all of the products that I have been lusting after. But this was my attempt in actually talking myself out of purchasing some of them. And I feel like I've been quite successful so far. How long I last, I will let you know. I will update you. I will update you if I do succumb to purchasing any one of them. But all in all, I think something I really learned out of this video was that whenever I feel like buying something new, I should just go to my makeup drawer and actually do a deep dive in there because truly there are some gems in there that I enjoy but I forget about all the time. So yeah, I think that's my main takeaway. Um, let me know what are the products that you're lasting after and what are the products that you're preventing yourself from buying but are having a really hard time from doing so. Maybe, maybe we can help each other out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.